Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing? Well, I'm fixing to get started on my uh, pot and soil right here. This one I'm going to be using to uh, put in my uh, foam cups to uh, plant my seeds in. But uh, if you know anything about pot and soil, you'll notice when you buy it a lot of times, it, it'll have big chunks of uh, different types of bark and different things in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take me an ice cream bucket. And y'all don't tell Tasha. <laughs> I, I have a tendency to try to use whatever I can find that'll work. And a lot of times just things that we already have and it comes from the kitchen. This comes out of one of her uh, deep fryers that she uses. But I, you see it's got all these holes in it. I'm just going to uh, use this uh, pan right here to uh, sifle through. Uh, this soil here so I'm going to do is just take it fill it up about halfway and then I'm just going to take it and I start shaking it and what's going to happen is all the bark and bigger pieces of wood that hasn't uh, decomposed it's, it's going to uh, stay in this uh, basket right here and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute and all the finer uh, pieces of soil drop right through the basket into this ice cream bucket then what I do I just when it gets full you know, I'll just take it and uh, put the lid on it, set it aside, give me another bucket, and do it all over again. And this this way, you know, it, it kind of saves you money from going by the uh, more expensive uh, type of sea starter soil. And you'll notice a lot of this, you'll see it right there. When you buy these cheaper bags of pot and soil, a lot of it would be big hunks of wood chips that had the not broken down. That don't mean you can't use it. We'll, we'll still use We'll throw it in the garden and just uh, till it all up in the garden. It'll decompose eventually. But this is just a uh, tip I want to show y'all. And you don't have, you know, you don't want to use something like your <laughs> wife's deep fryer basket. You can use a... Uh, Let's say a wire mesh screen got a little small uh, square mesh in it. You can use that. Also, you can use uh, you probably use the ice cream bucket, anything like that. Just take a drill and drill you some uh, holes in it. And uh, so I'll go ahead and show you right here. If you look at that right there. You see how uh, much finer that is right there. So we're getting a good soil out of that. And you'll see what's left over. Yeah, and uh, so this right here, we don't want to start our seeds in that right there. But uh, I just want to show you all that and uh, just give you a little tip there in case you buy the potting soil over the regular seed starting soil. Neither one's fine. Uh, I'm just going to try to save a little bit more money by, you know, starting it out with this uh, regular potting soil. All right, y'all. Well, I got this ice cream bucket filled up with good uh, soil. So I'll be ready to start uh, putting this in my planters there to start my seeds. And I just want to show you all how I went about doing it. Anytime you buy a bag of, say, heavy, I call it like a heavy pot and soil, just a cheaper pot and soil, it's going to have them chips of wood and different things that hasn't broke down completely. And uh, it'll work in your flower beds, but, you know, as far as starting your seeds and little tender plants trying to come up, push through it, you know, it's not going to be good. So, uh you want to kind of sift it out and uh, get it light, you know, as possible, just good soil. And I may go and sift this one more time uh, just to see if I get left any, you know, bigger pieces in it. But I just want to show you all day, you know, how I went about doing it. Like I said, I used my wife's uh, basket out of a deep fryer. You don't have to do that. Obviously, you could take a bucket like this and just grease some holes in the bottom of it. And that's what I may do, just go back and drill me some holes in the bottom of this bucket, just smaller diameter, 
and sift back through this right here. Or you can just take a uh, some small wire mesh and hook it to a, like a wooden frame and you can sift it out that way. So, so many different ways you can go about doing it. And if you don't want to mess it with that, you know, just go buy your bag of that, you know, pre-mixed pot and uh, seed mix. You know, it's already light and fluffy and ready to go. Um, this is going to be the first year I've done it with the pot and soil. Uh, but you're going to see how it does. Uh, I believe it should be fine. Uh, just just got to do a little bit of extra work. Uh, also, just have fun. You know, get your hands dirty and uh, don't worry. Don't don't want no. Don't worry about uh, uh, making a big mess. My wife, she's not here right now. And she might not be wanting me to do this on the table, but I'm gonna clean it up for you. She gets home, but <laughs> make sure I clean that pot up too. That basket right there. But uh, it's all about having fun. I tell you, we're going to have a good time this year, this collaboration. And uh, I hope y'all enjoying the video. And um, hope y'all find some humor and entertainment out of it. And uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's a learning lesson a lot of times, gardening is. And that's, that's what it's all about. You know, we're just trying to uh, see, you know, what we can do uh, as cheaply as possible. And a lot of this stuff, like I say, you don't have to go out and buy. It's stuff that you can go out there and dig up out of your woods and get in good soil from your, you know, compost pile, or, you know, if you don't have that, you know, we're going to show you, you know, how you just go and buy some of this stuff and, and get you some plants started and, and just have fun with it, y'all. Well, I appreciate y'all watching the video, and as always, friends, for my family's years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.